Welcome to lesson nine of our history topic, the Maya. And in this lesson, we're going to be looking at Mayan fashion customs. So the LO today is I can understand which fashions existed in Mayan culture. What I'd like you to do is to copy this spider diagram. So you have Mayan fashions in the middle, and then you have six very short lines, I'd say three to four centimetres maximum, pointing out. Um, so pause the video whilst you do that. OK, welcome back. I'm going to read to you now um, some examples of fashions which existed in Mayan culture. And I would like you to take notes of anything which you find is interesting or anything that really stands out to you, you think is important. Now, remember, when we take notes, we don't have to write incomplete sentences. We can just write the few key words to help us remember. And then if we have to write about the topic later, we use the notes to help us. In the same way when we plan our stories and our other pieces of writing in English. So you should now have the spider diagram finished and you should be there with your pen ready to take notes. So let's dive in to Mayan fashions. Fashion and beauty. Appearance meant a lot to the Maya. Fashion could be used to show how important you were. So the Maya went to extreme lengths to achieve the perfect look. If you go to extreme lengths, it means you do things which are quite shocking in order to try and achieve your goal. So it's not like you just put a bit of effort in, you really, really do something. And sometimes this can really surprise people that you're going so far to achieve your goal. And you're going to see what I mean when I carry on right reading this. So first off, high class fashion. High class means the nobles, the important people, the rich people. The Maya used clothes to show how rich and powerful they were. And that's similar actually to what we do in our modern society. While ordinary people wore plain, simple clothes, wealthy, now remember wealthy means rich, wealthy people's clothes were brightly coloured and decorated. Men often wore a cape called a patty. Rich Maya might own a patty made from jaguar skins and decorated with brightly coloured feathers and embroidery. Look at this real picture. So this is a primary piece of evidence. I'm reading a secondary piece of evidence. This is from a textbook. But this picture is a real picture um, that was done by the Maya. And archaeologists found it. And if you look at what that man is wearing, he's wearing a jacket. And those spots, that's made out of jaguar fur. Now remember, a jaguar is like a big cat that's like a leopard. Um, and that's showing that he is someone rich and important, probably a noble. Now, it also talks about brightly coloured feathers. Um, you can, that's possibly a feather there on his head. Embroidery means really nice sewing. When you take a piece of clothing and you sew lots of different patterns on that, that's called embroidery. People used jewellery to show their wealth. So people used jewellery to show how rich they were, their wealth. Rich people had necklaces made of shells. Jade. Now we already have looked at jade. Jade is that green expensive rock. Gold and even jaguar teeth. Poor people wore simpler jewellery made of bone and wood. And look at that necklace there. That's a real Mayan necklace. That's a primary piece of evidence. Obviously we've got a photograph of it here um, and it shows you that it's been made of shells. Now that's probably faded over thousands of years. But I imagine at the time the shells had the colour on and they probably they might have been painted. It looked probably very attractive when it was made. Turning heads. Now, turning heads is an expression. If you are wearing a really nice piece of clothing and you look really good, people will look at you. You will turn heads. So turning heads means people look at you. And here we have a picture of three Mayans. Maya. Rulers and noblemen, remember noblemen are like the royalty, wore huge colourful head dresses. So look at what they're wearing. Each one is wearing a headdress. 
with feathers. They decorated them with jade, shells, jaguar skins and carvings of gods and animals. Feathers were used too. The Maya even bred certain birds especially to use their feathers in headdresses. These feathers could be up to a metre long. So just think about that. We breed chickens in our society and we use chickens for their eggs and for their meat. And we have chicken farms. But the Maya, they would capture these birds and then they would keep them and then they would breed them so that they would have, the birds would have the babies in captivity in cages and then they could take their feathers. That was easier than going off to try and hunt the birds to get their feathers. If you had them in a farm, it makes it more easy. Extreme. There's this word again. Extreme is when you take something really far. Extreme makeovers. The Maya did some extreme things to change their bodies and make them look a certain way. The god of maize was often shown with a pointed, flattened face. Look at them, that's the god of maize. Remember, maize is um, like corn, and that was very important to the Maya, and they had a god. The Maya thought that this look was very attractive and tried to copy it. Parents gently pressed their baby's head between two boards all the time. This made its forehead slope up and backwards. Now, that's quite shocking, and look at the picture there. There's a baby with the parent, and they've got a board and they're squashing down on the baby's head. Now, obviously, we would not do that now because that would be very dangerous um, and we could hurt a baby if we did that. But they did that very gently and they did it every single day. And over time, it changed the baby's skull. Now, look at these two skulls here and you can see the way that the skulls are squashed back. Um, and they did that because they thought that that was a fashionable look. Here's another shocking thing. Crossed eyes were another popular feature. So look at this person. Notice how that their pupils are pointing inwards. That's called crossed eyes. Parents would hang tiny balls in front of their child's face so that their eyes would become permanently crossed. That means forever. So look what they've done there. They've tied the string with the ball and the baby or the young child just keeps staring at that, keeps staring at that ball. And eventually their eyes stayed like that because they thought it looked fashionable. No pain, no gain. Tattoos were popular among the Maya. They would paint a design onto their skin and then cut along the lines of the design. The scar would form a coloured tattoo. The Mayan king in this statue has his ears pierced with huge discs of stone. Look at those earrings there. The Maya achieved this look by piercing their eyes, then forcing pieces of jade or other stones into the piercing. The Maya thought that having sharp teeth was beautiful, so they would file their teeth to a point. So the way that we can use, we have a special tool called a file, and we can file metal. They would file their teeth down to make them look pointed. They might then drill holes into their teeth and decorate them with jade. So, some pretty shocking things there compared to what we're used to. So, um, I always think it's interesting though, we find those, we find a lot of that very weird to us. But I think in a thousand years time, are there any fashions that we do that people might look back at and think that we're weird? And why did they do that? I think if you, it's hard for us to think like that because it's normal to us. The Maya, they, that was totally normal to them. They didn't think it was strange. So it is often interesting to think, what will the people of the future think about us? So you should have now uh, six notes that you've taken while you were stopping the video. If you haven't, you need to go back through and you need to listen to it again. So you might need to go and do that now. If not, let's take a look at the next page. You're going to write me a couple of sentences. Look at the question. What do you think about the fashion customs of the Maya? I want to know what your opinions are. How do they compare to our modern day customs? Now, we're going to take out, I mean, you could actually use, usually we delete speaking personally, but you could do that. 
speaking person is a fronted adverbial, so that would have a comma. Um, I don't like as I see it. I find that too informal. Well, if you ask me, too informal. And in my view, I think that, um, in my opinion, I feel that I would say that. Now, basically, if I put fronted adverbial here, so that needs a comma, and then fronted adverbial, fronted adverbial. Those three are fronted adverbials, so you'll have a comma. Everything else, though, you don't need a comma. It's just an ordinary statement sentence. So I'd like to hear what you think about what they did um, in for their fashions and customs. And then if possible, can you, this is a bit more tricky, can you compare them to our modern day customs? So you might say something like, um, I found it strange the way that they would flatten their child's foreheads. And then full stop, this is similar to how we straighten our teeth using braces. Don't know whether you know about this, but people will often wear a brace to straighten their teeth. So that's one example of how we change the appearance of children so that there will be a permanent change when they're older. So I'm really looking forward to reading about your opinions about these Maya customs, fashion customs, and I will see you next time for lesson 10. Thank you for watching.